have listed 15. Maybe that's a late breaking story that wasn't wasn't aware of. Anyway, we're going to get going here with the fourth quarter final. Starts with a pretty spicy delivery. Goes after this. This is really high and it's really far back. In fact, it's gone all the way. Maximo. Now oh, the backward straight drive. You saw it here first on the European Cricket Network. That was dug in. And this one is lofted over the infield and it will be four more. Looking for. Outside edge, dropped. Big drop and it's going to bounce off the knee of the fielder there. That's Asenka for Canilla, and it's going to race away. Uh, how are you going to score this one on the wagon wheel? I mean, it, it <laughs> goes that way, and it's a proper knee capper. And big into the leg side. Six more runs. Questions in, we'd love them. Uh, leg side again, too short. Going to be another boundary. And this is going to be another boundary. And this one will be all the way. Six more runs. And Mahmood, well, he's getting off to a flyer. He's into the 20s yeah. now. Looking forward to seeing it. This is down the ground. Hasn't quite got a lot on this. And it is taken. And it's probably the man with the, one of the safest set of hands in Belgium. Ali Raza takes the catch. First wicket falls. And it's going to be Kaleem. Wasn't able to get going. As it's now going to be four deep for one. And he's got him. Ibrahim Kel gets Suleiman. He has to go for a duck. Second wicket falls. Really good delivery. Simple cricket. You miss, I hit. And it's another wicket. Won't be an easy group at all. Down the ground. And four. Interesting to see. And he's got him. And it's the big wicket. Faisal Mahmood drags across the line. He goes for 29. Third wicket falls. Exiles. Great camera work, guys. Anyway, this one is going to be the other side of the line. Maximo. And this is a leg glance that will go for four. So it just gets a bit too straight. Goes after it, but doesn't clear the fielder. And he's going to be caught. And this guy just hasn't been dropping catches. Ali Raza, he decides to go down, catch it, fingers up. And Wakas, after hitting a boundary, hits this one hard, but just doesn't get the elevation. They're playing good cricket shot. Speaking of that, this is a pretty good cricket shot. And it's going to get over the line. Maximo. Well, in the air, dropped another one that is a bit of a teaser. And that's Minas in that position who goes back. And, yeah, it was pretty good effort to get in the right spot. In fact, he does all the hard work, but he just can't hold on to the catch. Well, this is going to be four. It's top head. Shot. Really good shot. I don't think this is that high, you know, but he goes across. It's the look away ramp. This is going to be squeezed away. It's running away. It's running away. It's four. Now it's in the air and it's flying out of the ground. Maximo. Which is great. Adam Alga is another one. Okay, this is in the air. And Ali Raza, he just doesn't drop catches at the moment. And that'll end the innings, in fact. It'll be 109. So once again, very middle of the road total. And if you consider that, that batting first today, you know, every team that's batted first has not put an above, to uh, an above part total on the board, have they? I mean, early in the day... It will be Faisal Mahmood here to get us underway in the response from Liege. Uh, clatters into the pad. Not given. Things here. Well, I'll tell you who is swinging things. It's in my butt because that's going all the way. Six more. What kind of Wakas will turn up? Pretty good one because he's going to hit the top of our first ball. And he gets Hardjot for a duck. I don't know where Hardjot was going, but now I know where he's going because he's going to have to go back to the dugout. Just walks and wafts across at that one. Now... Spell Ali Raza, and this could be another one. It's hanging in there a long time. Fielder's coming in. Faisal Mahmood takes the catch. So two and two for Wakas Raja, and a dream start to his over. And they've got Leisure on the ropes now. Seven for two, and suddenly Wakas Raja's on a hat trick. Hat trick opportunity for Wakas Raja, and that's about as close as you can get. This time he misses the top of the off stump. Munawar faces up again. This time he does swat it, and he's going to get a fair piece. But one bounce four. Okay.
Here's Faisal Mahmood. Now this is going miles in the air. Well, this is holding up as well. It's another catching opportunity and Wakas will take it. And it's the Exiles on fire early. And that's a key wicket because Umer Bhatt has been brilliant in this series. But this one, he just gets the timing wrong, doesn't he? It goes more or less off the middle, but it goes so high. It doesn't have the trajectory to get it over the boundary line. Coming out at five. And he's going to whip this one away first up. And that is out as well. So another hat-trick opportunity. Well, maybe Fazma Mood saying, whatever you can do, Wakas, I can do. And maybe he'll do it better because he's on a hat-trick as well. 11 for four. Tries to smash it straight, and he does. And he whacks it for six. Maximo. Now, hat-trick ball facing Belgium style. Again, he takes on the field. This time he wins. He goes straight. He goes long. He goes strong. Six runs. This is, well, is going to be hooked. It's going to be hooked for six. Well, case in point, the change hasn't worked well. <laughs> this is in the air, and it's hit pretty well, and it's going to be one bounce for. Well, it pitches up, and this one is going a long, long, long way. Maximo! And, well, let's just say, this sounded like a, a gun going off. It certainly rattled me, <laughs> and in the end, goes after this, and... I think he likes it. It's out of here. Maximo. Walking like it's a low full toss. Hits it, runs. Should have been out. But it's a poor throw. And it'll be one. Yeah, throw's just wayward, isn't it? It's a lot of work for Mamprik Sandy to do. <laughs> That's uh, Sermine, yeah. who's coming off the back of a duck as well. Needed a better throw. He's after this. Should be gone. Is gone. Mamprik does the trick. And so it is Faisal Mahmood that takes the catch. And a big wicket of Munawa, who contributes 13, but will go no further. And that one really hurts Leeds at this stage now. They're 55 for five. Anyway, keep the Lurker shouts coming in. Short goes after it. And this is six. What well, is a remarkable shot. Still don't know quite how he pulled this off, if I'm honest. It's a back foot bludgeon, and it's kind of shoulder high. It's basically a tennis smash, but he does get full value. Tries the same kind of ball, and he's going to go to the boundary again. Goes after this, hits it, and hits it well enough. Maximo! If you're Falcon all you don't. Swings, hits it, hits it, great! Maximo! And it's side charter ball, and it's a big swing and a miss, but they're going to get runs, at least one. Will they try two here? They're going to take it on. Good throw might have him struggling. Well, he likes it. He likes it, but it could be close. It was a marginal two buys they go for in the end. So he's a bit slow to get going because he doesn't realise the ball's been missed. Something D1 Ali. Let's see if he gathers it cleanly. Well, again, I think there's no problem with the take. I think he takes the ball. No problem there. And, well, it's going to be a tight race, but he's just out. Just out. Now, we're going to see new batter out there. And it'll be fumbled for four. Wow. Edged and gone. It's a good catch behind this dance by Sutton D1 Ali. The angle does for Kanula, and he's got to go so close to the target. Munpreet does it again for the Exiles. It's 100 for seven. And that one surely swings the balance back towards the fielding side. Misses. They're going to run. They're going to go to the bowler. And he's going to mess it up. Will they go for two? They won't. I think this is Razak saying, all right, so I'm going to take the responsibility. Now they get a bye. I do like these tactics, but I don't think anyone told Munpreet it was coming his way. <laughs> Razak on strike. Edged, and that one is going to be dropped, but it's a good drop from Sultan D1. You've got to go for two here. Well, they probably wouldn't have made it, but now all Munpreet needs to do is his uh, bowling delivery and that might be the best drop catch ever because this was heading for four but because so tall he knocks it down out of the sky and he keeps it to one essentially Mumpre just needs to bowl a legal delivery and he does and that's all over and they've done it the exiles this is the upset of the day based on the group matches so far leaves the tabletop as a knocked out and Osten exiles well they'll feel that's normal service resuming the team that represented Belgium in the ECL earlier this year Finish quarterfinals Friday as our final semi-finalists. What a match and really what a day of cricket here.